constructed in 1977 and opened in 1978 over an old dairy farm. So this is uh, part of the little tour of Bangor. I'm going to show you the inside of it as I give a brief history over what makes this interesting. This is currently the largest mall in Bangor and the one of the only two uh, that are located in Bangor. And the other one's over by the airport. So I will take you along and uh, we'll go inside and see what's up. wanting to do anything when it comes to work. Um, a lot of people finding outlets like on YouTube, for example, and other social platforms that are actually making money. And so places like the Bangor Mall, where, the, where a lot of stores at one point that used to be able, you could use, just go in and get what you needed but with the rise of online shopping that faded I'm currently heading to another spot in Bangor this one is a little bit more mysterious because it is the resting spot of Hannibal Hamlin one of the former mayor of Bangor and uh, they, that is the Mount Hope Cemetery which is right down the road from the Bangor Mall, the intersection of Hogan Road and Mount Hope Avenue. It's every year in October for Halloween, there are tours that go through Bangor. They start in downtown area because Bangor, Maine has a lot of history and a lot of past history. It's currently snowing. It first snowfall of the year, 2022. We're about to come to the entrance of Mount Hope Cemetery. One of the, I think, two or three entrances that you can get into the cemetery from. Whenever I get there, we'll explore more about the Mount Hope Cemetery. And I'll give you a tour of a lot of the hot spots that I know about of Mount Hope Cemetery. <laughs> We're here at the Mount Hope Cemetery in Bangor, Maine, off of Mount Hope Avenue, which intersects with Hogan Road. So, we're going to go out and we're going to have a little bit of a walk. This is currently the biggest cemetery in the state of Maine, in the entire state, in Maine's big state. But also, it is the second largest garden cemetery 
in the United States of America. So, without further ado, let's take a walk. survived family and is now buried around her which is right here um, I can't remember the name of the you know I can't remember her name right now but I'll flash it up on the screen here and uh, you'll know so all right on to the next which is going to be down here <laughs> currently at the hill tomb uh, this massive structure right behind me is the hill tomb uh, rumored to be one of the spots as well as the tomb over here that spirits will talk to you um, I've tried it I haven't had any results but there is a individual by the name of Kent who was here a couple years ago and he tried it he had better results than I did he had better equipment so um, I will be going through and I'll show you Cannibal Hamlin's tomb and then we're going to move on and we're going to get out of here. <laughs> I was going to show you a different spot uh, where there's a pretty famous individual there, but my son died. But we've explored some of the Mount Hope Cemetery locations that are popular. I'm going to take you downtown and we are going to explore some of the main features of downtown Bangor so you know what you're looking for uh, where they are all right here I am at the Bangor waterfront and this is one of the biggest most recognizable spots in downtown Bangor I'm gonna end up going to the one of the next spot um, it's gonna be the main discovery museum and that I will show you where that is and what that looks like all right so the main discovery museum right behind me it is made for children to be able to go through and discover different things about the planet I'm not sure the history on it but I'll probably make another video about that later um, Right now, I am heading to Hannibal Hamlin's statue. Alright, this right here behind me is Hannibal Hamlin. So, he is the Statesman, diplomat, and citizen of Bangor. He's done a lot for the bank, city of Bangor in the years. Uh, his final resting spot is at the Mount Hope Cemetery. He, he did a lot for the, for the city of Bangor. So, um, a lot of people 
used to look up to him a lot. I believe he was involved with President Lincoln as well. All right, so back to the car. That was an interesting little journey we had. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna get myself out of here and I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna get warm and drink a nice cup of coffee. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, I am open to suggestions. Um, there's a lot of places around the state of Maine that can be toured. With that being said, this is Dan. Thank you for coming with me on this journey to the tour of Bangor. If you want, you can give this video a like and hit the sub subscribe button and ring the notification bell. You'll see all the other videos that I'll be posting in the future. Thank you for coming along with me on this journey and I wish you all the best.